So we have our two traders, Dan and Phaedra, but you know they can add more. And oh my God, Tamara looks so old in this lighting. Oh, 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 old. She's graduated to full crone. Pockets full grown, the heifer full crone. And we got CT here from Real World Paris. And I just, I know he's been on the challenge and everything, but God, his head is so big. How do they fit it on screen? I mean, he's been like making it through life with this giant head. And it's just, it's incredible to me. We got a parliamentary coup. Now, Larson thinks she heard Alan lift his arm over to the left. So now she throwing suspicion on the heifer next to her who's still upset that she lost Survivor. Larsa said, my ears are so strong, I can feel the vibration. <laughs> Maybe your puss. I believe your puss so strong since you humping four and five times a night for the past 30 years. I believe your puss over your ears. So the real traders are like, great, Larsa's already caused this kerfuffle so we ain't gotta say shit. Maybe we should recruit her gum bumping ass, but then again, this is Larsa can't hold water pippin. She told about somebody's cancer diag no no. So her on your team is a no no. Then we got another blonde heifer who think it's the parliamentary coot. And honey, that's just old man breathing. Phaedra said, I'ma just listen, take notes, and agree. Because you're a traitor! Okay, we got the guy from Love Island, and yes, little boy, you will be easily manipulated. I could probably turn you gay. That's how manipulatable you are. So Tamara ain't doing today's mission. Child, I forgot Sheree was here. We halfway through the episode and Sheree ain't said shit. Although, fly under the radar so you can get your coin and earn it for once. So we got our first mission, which is a puzzle something. Are we getting on boats? Okay, so we have, <laughs> Lord, Alan Coving in these eyelashes. So you can either get money for the team or you could go for a shield and get immunity from tonight's murder. And you know Phaedra will kill you because she already put people in prison. Child, while they tying everybody up, Janelle ran over and saved herself and got that shield. That was stupid to do early in the game because now they're going to vote you off. God, CT's gotten fat, but oh, that head is still huge. Oh, God, the puzzle pieces are floating in a lake. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'll lose. Seeing Michael Jordan Jr. talk about $30,000, that's an insult. That is an insult. That makes me want to go French Revolulu. You don't, you shit $30,000. It's $30,000 and I need it. You don't. Ha! <laughs> that shit said no. Bitch. <laughs> they said, oh, hell no. CT says, shoot, we got a little money. I'm going to go on and get this immunity while I'm at it. Deontay got the other one. Kev from Bling Empire is pissed he missed out. Oh, the puzzle's supposed to make a shield. We found the map and some bottles. Sheree finally helped something. Unbelievable. 14 years on TV and she finally proved herself valuable. Peter from The Bachelor kind of cute. You know, I'ma watch Cocaine Bear. I have been meaning to watch that crazy movie. And since the Marvels isn't on Disney Plus yet, I'ma peep at that since don't nothing come on Thursday nights. Wait, let me check. Maybe there's something. Is there anything on a Thursday night that we care about? Cause I, I think I've given up on Ultimate Girls Trip. I don't care about what comes on Thursday night? Cause Thursday night used to be black night. I miss when Thursday night, honestly, Sunday and Thursday can both be black night. Where are, like, well, no, let's see. Love and hip hop, not love and hip hop. Growing up hip hop and um, what's that show with Mr. Deb Atney? Cause they used to have their own little spinoff. Southern Hospitality, okay, we're six episodes in. I don't know if I'm going to care about that. I might, I might pick it up. Let me know in the comments if you want me to pick up Southern Hospitality. But yeah, ain't nothing recording. Okay, it looks like they got it together in the last second. They got the little challenge finished. I think it would have been funnier if they had messed this one up. I have to say where this castle is, it's very pretty. So they won 30 foul. God, CT has just turned into an old guy from Boston. Like he looked like he got back problems when he's like leaning over 
with the cap on. Oh, God. I, I still look young, thank goodness. Don't settle into your curmudgeon just yet, CT. I used to think he was cute. Big-headed, but cute. God, there's a lot of head. Like a Neo head, but less gay. And I know Neo's not gay. He just looks like a lascivious bottom. I know that look. This other traitor really thinks that he's going, you know, win. You're up against Phaedra, the felon parks who sent two people to prison, allegedly. So I wouldn't trust. So I would just hope I get out of this game with my freedom and my social security number still intact. You've got a snake in the grass and a thief in the temple. So Janelle's CT and Deontay have the shield. So, so that narrows down who we gonna kill tonight. Kill Larsa. Please don't think you gonna make her gum bumping ass a traitor. She gonna rat y'all out. She can't hold water. I'm gonna use my George Foreman grill to make a quesadilla. I bet you a fat man bet you a thin one you can. I was gonna go and get one, but you know quesadillas is... Well, it really ain't $20, but it's still going to be more than I want to pay. So I'm going to just go on and make it myself because I needed to get some chicken anyway. Chicken vaginas. I haven't left the house since Saturday other than to walk the dog. <laughs> I did my grocery shopping for the week. I take his little ass out other than that. I'm like, I ain't going nowhere. It is January. What am I going anywhere for? I do not need to go anywhere. And also, like, there's been a lot on. It's reunion season. So I'm like, I just want a cocoon. Sheree's like, Janelle didn't help anybody. She just ran and looked for the shield. Well, you don't help anybody or anything on Housewives of Atlanta. So <laughs> you should know how it feels. Oh, God. It's going to be a season of watching Phaedra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, this heifer making a whole bunch of money without even having to open her mouth. And as the head doctor, that's quite incredible. Mmm. Child, sound like she should be working for Campbell's. Mmm, good. Phaedra wants to get CT as a traitor, and that's actually a good strategy. She gonna try to fuck him, too. I just hope she don't put him in prison. Ooh, peppermint, peppermint. Ooh, this wig, girl, this wig. Ooh. That's the first scene, hon. Oh! The other trader said, I need somebody that's gonna get stuff done and not feel bad about it. Baby, you got your match. Wait till she throws you up under the bus. Up under the bus. You're gonna hear the womp, womp. And that lets you know you've been Phaedra Pa. So he knows the heifer Janelle from Big Brother and wants to bring her on board. Oh, that's right. This is one of them shows where it don't really end till the beginning of the next episode. Well, good. We got three of them up. So the clock has struck midnight and everybody got to get to bed so we can find out who gets murdered and who going to be a traitor. Get rid of Johnny Bananas. If he won once, get rid of him because he knows how to play the game. And honestly, Peppermint, if you don't get that wig together, I don't want to look at you either. Okay, let's get to the next episode to see who they pick because they going to go through everybody.